Hey YouTube, Shaber1000 here. Today I'm going to show you my little collection of cameras. Stay tuned. Okay guys, this is my camera collection. I told you I'd show you some of the cameras I've collected. And I'll show you what the cameras that, that are just my collection of cameras and then the cameras I use on a daily basis for YouTube and whatnot. Um, so, first you guys, you guys have, uh, I, I did a video on this one. The old uh, Minolta. Um, it does work. And like I said, when I get the f uh, film developed, I'll show you the footage that I took of that. Then I have here, I have these two JVCs. They are very similar, but one, um, one doesn't have a light on it, which is this one here and the other one does that's pretty much the subtle difference there's the light on this one difference in them um, other than that they're they're pretty much the same they are um, let me see super this one's a super VHS uh, what is it it's a GR-SXM320 And this one is the GR-AXM210. So they're pretty, a pretty similar camera, and they were, they were, they were pretty common. Uh, I have here this, the Panasonic here. Um, it is a. Let's see what is it? I'm not sure what it is. Uh, the model number I forget. Let's see if we can find out here. Uh, I can't remember what this one is. Doesn't really say on it. Yes, it does. It's the PV L452D. Okay, so that's that one. By the way, guys, every camera on this table, every camera we have, works. And I do use periodically these ones. I don't use as much because they're just uh, collection of cameras. Then I'll get to the ones we do use. Um, here's my drone. I haven't got to use it much lately. I was going to get it out today and do some film for you, but uh, it was raining and kind of windy. So there's my extra batteries. This is the battery that came with it, and I upgraded on my battery. So uh, I can only get about 200 feet with this battery, which I was supposed to get a lot more that's the uh, the battery that came with it now these batteries here I can I've had it up to 250 feet with no problem whatsoever there's the controller for it but that's my little drone um, I gotta tell you these these cameras here out of these these five right here the only one I paid for was this now, I gave five bucks for that one these I had bought just for the camera bags, which yes, I have camera bags for every camera on here and then a couple extra. Um, I had bought just for the bags and they happen to have cameras in them. They didn't want any extra. They said, well, the camera goes with it. Okay. So these I pretty much got about, uh, let's see what I got in them, about 15 bucks in these, these four. I've got that big old honking thing there. This is a realistic. It's one of them ones you used to have to put on your shoulder. It does work as well. I have done some film with it. Uh, let's see, we've got this little, it's a still image, it's an HP. I think I gave two dollars for this at, at a uh, thrift store up the street. Um, of course it's not high def, it's an older one. 
but it's not just a still image it also takes video and it it does support a uh, memory card uh, keep this around for still images and just in case something would happen and it's the only thing I can take a video on I will use it haven't had that problem yet this I did a review uh, review on it's the dash that first dash camera the dash cam pro I gotta tell you guys it sucks but it is a camera I collect cameras so and you know I, I can use it for like if I don't want to ruin one of the other ones if I got a chance of ruining one of my other cameras I'll use this because I think it was 20 bucks but it wasn't worth the 20 bucks let me tell you that right now I've got my two webcams which I I do not use but there were cameras and I'll tell you why I got them. This one here I got because my PC is white. So I got it. it do, they do work. Don't get me wrong. They do work. But I don't use a webcam because you know how shaky webcams are. So. But they do work. Shit. And. Um, uh, but this one here I bought. I gave a dollar for it. I bought it because it's white. And I used it set on top of my computer because it looks nice up there. This one here I bought by accident on an app called Top Hatter where you buy cheap stuff. And, you know, I mean, uh, it's really the only thing I bought on there. I bought it by accident because when I was looking at it, I was just looking at stuff. And uh, I, uh, I dropped my phone when I grabbed it. I must have hit the buy button because I, I got, oh, you know, just a few minutes later I got an email. Uh, saying that congratulations in your purchase on the camera and I thought oh shit what did I buy and I bought this it was like oh it was cheap like eight bucks no it was seven dollars seven dollars free shipping so that wasn't too bad uh, they both came with um, with uh, software so um, so but I've got I've got six editing six different editing softwares on my PC and I've got so many because each one does something a little different that I may want to use for one of the older cameras. Okay, I've got this camera. I've got the Canon. <clears throat> this, another deal. I bought a, I took the camera out and asked him what he wanted for the bag. He had $2 on it. I said, yeah, I'll give you $2 for bag. I'm not interested in the camera. He said, but it works fine. I said, I want the camera. He goes, well, just give me $2 and take it all. So, I got this. Now this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use for my designated webcam in case I do want to do something with with the with the PC. Um, I got an HP All-in-One. Kind of sucks. I've never been happy with it, but it's all we could afford at the time for a brand new one. I mean, it's got plenty of memory. It's just I don't like the way it. I don't know. Just something about it. I, I like to have a tower. You know, a desktop is what I like to have, and then I can use any any monitor I want but there's this and I'll, I'll use this for the designated which um, needed a battery so I did order I got two batteries and the battery charger for like five bucks online they do hold a good charge and everything so now I've got this little tiny camera right here one of the cheap ones okay got this uh, we bought this at a flea market for a dollar it was just in a bin saying uh, it does work of course it's not real um, you know I mean it is what it is right but it does work and uh, so just something to, to drag around you know throw in a glove box or something in case you see something exciting and grab it real quick but there's that so. you know for a dollar what the hell and it works fine okay and then we have our tripods the one I'm I am using right now it will go three feet tall this one here will go will stretch out to five feet tall it this one is an old Vivitar I bought it for ten bucks right down the road this is the one I got set up for doing live feeds that will I took the end off of my uh, selfie stick and I put it on here and this is what we use to uh, when we do our live feeds and uh, she uses it a lot when she makes her videos because she uses her phone a lot okay now I have my phone now those those are my collectors also this will extend up to five and a half feet 
it's uh, it's very stable it's a very good one uh, it's got the crank up for the uh, for the top it does crank up instead of lifting up uh, I use it for the heavy camera which we did yesterday if you guys seen the video called um, uh, I think it was called Rolly giveaway anyway this this is the camera we were using yesterday for that so and I did something a little different I did it in widescreen cinematic style so I like to change things up when I'm using these old cameras because these are just for fun and they all work everything on this table does work and it works fine okay so there's there's that now the, the, that's just my my you know little collection there so it's not much I was informed today that I'm not allowed to buy any more cameras but anyway we'll see how that goes but now for the newer stuff that we use every day all right, I got my phone here and I got it there for a reason I you do have to use it sometimes when I want to grab a video and I don't you know cameras and truck whatnot I can use that I have used it it's my phone but it's got a camera on it, it also it's got the app for my drone which has the camera on it so that's why I have including included them in my cameras okay now okay. now let's moving on here we have our our GoPro it's not a real GoPro no it was uh, I gave $18 for it online and what happened and it works fine but what happened to this one is on the side I don't know if you can see in there See, the USB port that charges it, um, what happened was I went to plug it in one day to charge it and the USB port fell down inside. You know, it just came apart. And we got a hold of them and the seller pretty much called us a liar. Said there wasn't nothing wrong with the camera. I said, well, there wasn't anything wrong with it until I went to plug it in for the first time. So they didn't, uh, you know, they never, we never heard back from them because I, I proved a point and I said, look, I know it's only 18 bucks. I'm not asking for my money back. I will send this bag to you. Send me one that works, that does what it's supposed to do. And it says HD 1080p, but if you guys seen the scooter video where I did the gas tank on the scooter, uh, the speedometer um, segment of that video was done with this set in 1080p, but it's still got the black bars on the side. But I mean, for underwater and stuff, I do, I do, I do have a couple clips of the ocean rolling, the waves coming in, rolling up over the camera. So I mean, it's okay for that, you know. I mean, and, and we do use this for situations like that. Now this, so in order to charge that, I thought, what am I going to do? Well, it just so happens that the battery is removable on that, and I bought a box of electronics, uh, like cables and chargers and USB cords and all that shit for five bucks at a flea market this happened to be in it it is a charger for a Canon battery and I got to looking at the little posts on here and they corresponded there's the plus and there's the minus and they corresponded with what my battery is on the uh, GoPro so I was like hmm so I kinda whittled this away as you can see because it was like this you know had that ridge I whittled it away Pop my battery in there, plugged it in, and it works fine. It lights up when it's charging. When it goes to full, it lights up green. So that's how I charge the battery of that. So that right there to me was worth five bucks. So there's that. This, of course, we just did an episode on it. A review of the Black Web uh, dash cam. Um, so far it's working well and doing what it should do so that is used every day except for right at this moment it's in here this camera here I did buy I think I gave 20 bucks for it online because it is um, it is infrared uh, night vision okay so I've got my extra battery and charger there for it I also use this sometimes just to make different uh, videos. I used it the other day when I said, uh, I think it was vlogging with a vintage camera or something like that. This is the one I was using. It works fine. It is a Sony. It's got unbelievable zoom. And yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, decent, it's a decent camera. Um, but it does take the disc. 
but I bought some discs. I bought uh, 10 discs for uh, 15 bucks, I think, online. So that's that's pretty cool. This is a spotlight IR light, um, which actually came with the 4K camera we have there. That is night vision as well. But I use uh, I put this just on the side of here, just you know, to show you guys. It's real, you know, all everything I got is real versatile. I can take the light off of here and use it on here, or vice versa. Plus, they've both got built-in IR lights, which, you know, they're not very bright, but they are handy. So, there is that. Um, let me see. We have, right here, we have the 4K camera we have bought not too long ago. Again, you know, it is, it is night vision. There's the IR light. Um, and... Uh, it, it's it's an awesome camera except for one thing the uh, the mic is right here that little little tiny hole right there I'm trying to figure out a way to get it covered up to where it's not going to um, it's very loud it is very loud the the microphone on it okay um, even with the uh, wireless mics or the cordless or external mic okay even with them it just seems like it's it's very loud so um, but it does work night vision is great yes and here is also the light for it so when you open it up you know the light will be shining at what you want it to shine out of course the built-in lights are never very bright now I've got these um, these these are this is my wireless mic here set up that I use for that camera it'll work for either one and it's a, it's a very nice set um, you know it's cheap but I mean it's nice it works good it's got a good sound to it uh, it does change channels if I'm getting interference from something I can change the channels on these and get it towards crystal clear but I use this set for that I also have my my headset here that I used on the tractor when we took a ride up to the park and that is also remote control as is this unit right here this is the first new one we bought when we were together um, it works okay and everything uh, I do have a wireless mic set up on it it's Booyah it's a Booyah setup I normally don't have this this whole setup on here I can still put a light on top of here but right now I've got it on the camera I am using and the camera I'm using is, is it's a Sony and it, I use it every every day I use it a lot I use this the second most but these are ones I use all the time like you know at least once a week one of these cameras are being used it also comes with a remote as you can tell it's very similar to the remote for the 4k camera now it's not only similar either one of them remotes will work either camera so if I'm going to use a remote I can't have both these cameras on because one remote will be affecting both of them so if I want to use two cameras and I want to use them too I won't be able to use the remote because it responds to both of them and the camera I am using right now is the Sony this is the camera I'm using well the camera I'm using right now is the 4k but it's just a little handy cam I think I gave 40 or 45 dollars for it now what I didn't like about it is it did not have a hot shoe mount on top okay you had to use a hot shoe mount on the bottom which I have over on that camera there so what I did was I had an old camera that I had in Ohio that got water damage wasn't any good anymore and I took it apart to get the tape out so I could save the tape the footage from the tape uh, and this piece I got to look and I thought well you know what I can glue that because it came right out didn't have to anything I can glue that right on there so that's what I did I glued it right on there so now I have a hot shoe mount on top and that's with the light there okay and right now I'm filming that camera with the 
have with the 4K camera. And this is our tripod here. This is the one I use daily, every day. Um, it's, it's not very tall, it's like three feet, but it's light, versatile, and it's not too heavy duty, as in sometimes that one's just too big and bulky. But you need it for a heavy camera like that, it will hold that, it will hold any of those. As will this one, but that one is more stable. So that is that is that camera, and it's an awesome camera. It has a hell of a zoom, hell of a macro for as cheap as it is. And I, I'm looking on them online now, and they're they're refurbished, going for over hundred bucks. So and and this one I'm going to give to Monkey after I get. I'm going to get the same exact one, but I want it in the black color. So, okay, so there's that. So guys, I just want to thank you for joining me and letting me share my my little humble collect uh, camera collection collection with you. Uh, like I said, everything does have a, a case or a bag for it. The big one that is right behind me, the realistic, has you know this big giant case and it has the charger and um, it has extra batteries and all kinds of stuff in it. Um, I don't use it too much, um, but I like to know that I can pick it up. Sometimes you know you may have to charge your battery and whatnot, but I do use them. It is nice to know that I can still pick it up just for fun and fiddle around with it. I'll later on, uh, probably this week, I will do a video with that that camera right there. So, um, and like I said, I want to you know I, I like to have something when I collect something. I like for it to work and everything. Fortunately, all my cameras do work there's 19 of them here counting the one we are using right now to film with uh, so um, I mean as far as other I mean we have other cameras like we've got the cameras for uh, that for uh, paranormal investigations for the DVR that when we are not f using them f uh, for paranormal investigations uh, I use them in front of the house. You guys can see I've showed you things on the monitor in here before in the garage. And um, so, uh, but there's four cameras with that. I didn't really include them because that's not really part of a collection. That's more of a, actually a, just a work camera. So, but this is uh, my fun stuff that I really enjoy. Uh, really enjoy collecting and using them. And, 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 and finding one at a flea market, you know, I want that bag. I don't need the camera. He's like, well, just take the whole thing. I don't care, you know, <laughs> five bucks or whatnot, you know. And and you get it home, you thought, you, know, you think, what the hell? Let's let's just try it. And you put power to it, or you charge the battery and, and turn it on, and it kicks on. Next thing you know, the tapes are rolling. You can see these are all analog. They all take tapes. Um, those four and that one behind me, I'll take a. That one takes the regular. Remember the regular VHS, you know, VCR style tape. Uh, these ones take the same style of tape I forget which they are uh, I forget what size the tapes are but anyway I want to thank you again for watching and thanks for your support uh, check out my patreon page uh, for some special rewards and I want to say uh, Shea Bear the myth the man legend I'm gone for now you guys have a great week coming ahead so uh, appreciate it and uh, don't forget, the uh, first Saturday of March, we'll be doing a giveaway for uh, the rolly egg thing. So, that being said, thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one, and bye-bye.